So not seeing Thatcher, you're seeing more IQ typically. Uh, and then neither of them coming out when attacking a basement. Now, of course, they cannot know that they're attacking basement. But now, no hard destructors, no direct anti-electronics except for Twitch. It's about the worst situation here for FaZe Clan as is possible on a consulate first round attack. So good choice there for Black Dragons going to the base the first. So Face Clan definitely were expecting to attack the oh, top yeah. stairs, <laughs> not downstairs. So this is Black Dragons, of course, throwing things out and are like, you know what, let's let's play something different. But we were talking up the Latin American region just earlier about having two hard destructors almost every single round. And then look at this. The, no hard destructors. We, we what is up bras and welcome back and in this video we are going to be bringing you 12 tips and tricks as well as three full valkyrie camera setups that you guys will be able to start to implement immediately after watching this first trick that we're going to be starting out with is kind of a team effort what we saw was black dragons kind of fake out face clan and kind of trick them into thinking they were going upstairs but what they did was throw them off and go actually downstairs first. Now on consulate, the console office on the top floor is considered one of the better spots. But if you think that you're gonna need to go downstairs eventually anyways, why not just throw a wrench in the game and do something that's not as typical and go down there first? That way the attacking team is gonna assume that you're gonna attack the best site first, right? But what we saw was they actually went downstairs first. The attacking team was not necessarily prepared for that and so they didn't have a hard breacher and they weren't able to go through the garage. Now another really good example of this would be on Chalet going on the snowmobile garage. It's pretty widely considered that on Chile, the trophy room dining room is the better bomb site. And so if you go down to the snowmobile first, there is a chance that maybe there won't be a hard breacher and you could get that little bit of an edge on top of the attacking team. But they've got two contests now, the mirror window and bathroom. This is the tier system that we talked about. Yep. Where not even one floor above, you're going all the way up top. And consulate is, consulate is very similar to bank in that way. You see the setup That's that they easy, have easy. in bathroom wog will even pop a smoke and they're gonna try to shut down the attackers that are pushing through the main hallway. All right, so I pretty much always talk about how important piano room is when defending on consulate, especially when you're downstairs, you can go up inside a piano room, get all kinds of crazy angles. What this Mira setup is gonna help you do is get a line of sight halfway up yellow stairs almost to the top floor. So really nice angle from the bathroom Mira site by blowing up this little side of white drywall, you'll be able to get an angle almost all the way up yellow stairs. So a really great addition to add on to your current mirror setups. We'll set one player, probably the lion, they'll just be watching the doorway for any rotations from the, from the top stairs and all yellow fence now. That's really what's going on here in, uh, in Rainbow. You need it to counteract uh, the attacker meta that we have right now, uh, the Blitz most notably. But I like this duo roam here from Mav and camera down on the basement. It's gonna be two C4 operators, one with the information being gathered by the black guys. Not to be countered by the uh, IQ since black dragons don't have one. Now the first of three full Valkyrie camera setups that we're gonna be looking at is gonna be on consulate. And this one is gonna be coming to us from Mav. The very first Valkyrie camera is gonna be on spiral staircase. And I'll show you guys exactly how sneaky that one can be. The second Valkyrie camera is gonna be upstairs and this is gonna get an angle all the way down the hallway. And it's sneaky in between the plant and vending machine so that coming from the sides, it's difficult to see. Now the third one is downstairs to assist roamers and using this third Valkyrie camera down here, you can pretty much see the main two staircase cases that people use to rotate from the bottom to the top floor. The only other rotation that we're missing right there is either a couple hatches or the staircase from garage. Now you guys can see that this second Valkyrie camera can see all the way down the hallway, super useful regardless of the site because attackers are gonna need to be clearing the top floor, this camera is gonna help you out regardless of the bomb site. Now this third Valkyrie camera, which was the first one that we threw on spiral staircase on the leftmost window if you're looking outside. This one is so sneaky because you can actually see guys that are coming from the gas station spawn, but not just that, maybe you could catch somebody that's droning on the outside of the wall or kind of peeking through that garage doorway a really, really sneaky camera that can have so many different angles. Throw in his two smokes to blind the uh, rotation here. 
will spot the one defender that's sitting in the connector room. That's a one kill exchange for the other. Kamikaze will get one more here, taking down Cameraman. It's a four versus two. Kamikaze solo and it's Viva Psycho even will get taken down here with the Vector, the 1v1. So little time remaining, but Mav will even hit the shot here with the MPX. They'll go in for the plant, but Julia will go down because the shield cannot help him from the back. And Face Clan somehow able to pull this out, even though everything was going the way of BD. Two versus four, you're playing an MPX and a Vector at range versus a V308 and an OTS-03, and you still lose. All right, so for our next tip, we're going to be doing a double mirror setup inside of the waiting room that's going to be overwatching the console office. Now, what we saw in the previous gameplay clip was a 2v4 clutch. One of the main reasons was because they were able to get a very nice C4 from this double mirror setup and get it all the way down to the couch and stop the plant because they may not have had time to rotate around and plant the bomb somewhere else. There's not really anywhere that's safe once you're inside of the console office. So regardless of where he chose to plant, it would have been very difficult to get away from it because time was going down and this double mirror setup, you guys can see how intimidating this can look as an attacker. We got one reinforced wall to stay safe. Just be sure to keep an eye out for that window and make sure nobody's sneaking up on you. Love this here from Black Dragons that are just pushing up, realizing that the push can only happen from one point, but Astro coming from the side and get the frag on Julio's map will rush in. They all right, now using something like this is pretty cool because one, you're gonna actually be able to increase the sound production that you will be able to register inside of your headset by opening up little pathways like this. So what that can do is allow when people get stacked up on yellow stairs, you can go for random wall bangs. And not just that, you could also play a Mira, throw C4s, do all kinds of stuff to add that extra pressure onto yellow stairs. Of course, part of this can be risky because that bathroom window is right there. It's pretty easy access for attackers. So if you can get an extra ADS or maybe even a Valkyrie camera outside and watch that window, this is gonna be a great addition to defend the upstairs. Time and the obvious location of Black Dragons and they will have all gun barrels pointed at the two choke points that Black Dragons will have at their fingertips. Now here comes that final moment here as time ticks away. And the smokes and flashes both start popping off. Phase positioned well to hold this, but Camera's gonna get the first kill. Julia goes down, and the second kill for Gohan. That's four for him in the round. All right, now this is what I call a nutty angle. Something like this is so insane. That there's so much more going on than just creating an angle on the floor. For example, the place that Bandit is standing on is actually at a lower angle because of the small staircase that's right there. So it's gonna be so easy for him to see people's feet all the way down the hallway. I'll show you guys exactly what this looks like. So if you can get a friend to shoot out the bottom, you will actually be able to stand at the bottom of the staircase and just crouch and easily be able to contest and watch over this entire hallway all the way down to the bottom of Spiral Staircase. Now, once the attacker reaches the bottom of Spiral Staircase, they have so many different angles to check for. One of the last things they're gonna be paying attention to is a random angle where they're gonna get their toes shot all the way from one of the cars inside of the garage. This is such a cheeky angle. I cannot wait to implement this inside of my gameplay the next time I play on Consulate. Let me know what you guys think of it. This is one of my favorite spots of the video. The gas canisters already one that has been expended by Wog, who's not roaming upstairs. As we said, this is, uh, hey, let's try to pick those fights before they can even uh, challenge oh. the hatches. Yeah, no. that's what that's the angle. Now moving on to map number two, we're gonna be starting this one off with yet again another insane angle. Now what we saw was one of the ACOG defenders holding up on top of the stage in meeting hall. And what you can do is create a pixel peek in between the second bench 
and the wall that watches anybody that enters the staircase from the lobby. Now we saw the defender make a very brave shot to the back of Blitz's head. Unfortunately, it was just a millisecond too late. You guys can easily see here that anybody enters the staircase is going to be giving anybody that's on the stage the back of their head. The only way that I can contest this from the staircase is if I meet that pixel angle and it is so difficult to see. Such a nutty angle. Being one of those um, players who is so prominent for being a good blitz player and here you can see Mav giving him a run for his money. One another they play not really similar operators not at least on the defense but on attack definitely you definitely a thing. They understand the mentality that you have to have on the line and contest the defenders. All right, so for our second full Valkyrie camera setup, we saw in the previous clip that this was a setup that was used when defending upstairs in the dorms. Now, in my custom game, I do have the bomb site downstairs, but I got to point that out for you guys. This setup was used for the upstairs dorms defense. Now, this Valkyrie camera right here, I was trying to figure out exactly where it landed. If you throw it directly behind the garbage cans, it's going to be so well hidden but you're not gonna have as good of an angle and vision over the area of the map as if you were to throw it through the garbage cans and have it land just on the other side. If you do that, you can see a huge angle over the big tower as well as to the left easily still. Now for the camera number one, this is gonna be overlooking lobby and a lot of people may just run past this one because they're not so focused on attacking the downstairs. This one's gonna be great for watching people rotate up the staircase from lobby or people entering from the meeting hall. The second camera you guys saw, I already talked about this one a little bit. It's a really nice outside camera. So kind of pick and choose where you wanna throw with it and kind of experiment with that one a little bit. The third camera is overlooking the meeting hall and you guys can see that when I'm on the side of it, it's pretty difficult to see unless I'm looking directly at it from the same side. So really nice camera setup. Let me know what you guys think about this one. As an attacking team, when you haven't actually dealt with all of the roamers, is a very difficult and uh, tall task, that's for sure. E1Ds are going to pop out, forcing the red light. Sidewall here, looking into the bunks, there's... Alright, so what we saw while anchoring upstairs in the dorms was a pretty cool way on how you can actually anchor with smoke. So from here, you can watch the bathroom doorway downstairs, you can watch the sidewall on the right, and also the dorm entrance on the right and what we can see here is if anybody gets past you from below without you taking them out you can actually just quick peek down the staircase drop a smoke grenade and hold off anybody coming up from the staircase as well as if they run back away from the smoke and run into the bathroom then you'll be able to get a very easy pick while they're running away from you bullets while he's playing over in tower so he's lit up but onto that low HP. Or so they can just open it up with softball and kamikaze the AR-33. Get a kill on Astro that's now... All right, now adding in angles from upstairs in the dorms, we're gonna be going above the kitchen and we're gonna be watching an angle into the kitchen doorway, but then also this wall below by the bathroom is also destructible. So we're gonna be helping smoke hold angles into the bathroom. Now I've shown a ton of other angles from certain areas within the dorms to watch below you. These two are gonna be great additions to add into your arsenal. If you have any ideas as to where the attackers are coming from, these angles are definitely going to throw a wrench into their game plan and make them think twice about where their running paths are below. And also, tons of bullets are going to be raining down on them. I will set up most of my equipment on that end as well. We also have the Yokai drone well positioned inside of classroom. No IQ on Black Dragon, so it will go unnoticed. E1D will force them to stand still, and then Kamikaze will get the kill on the Moringa. All right, now I don't really play Echo that much because I don't find it as fun and it's not really as much my play style. But one thing that I really don't do enough on the rare occasions that I play Echo is use it just strictly for information for the first part of the game. So what we saw was actually kind of a roaming Echo drone and this one was really good. He was able to hide it inside of the classroom and then get a ton of information, but, but then later on rotate it back down and get a lot of information for people coming from the laundry room and this echo drone spot is really good right here because the beams will kind of help protect it and you'll still be able to get an angle on the common bomb plants i have no idea 
what to think about that. It confusing play, to say the least. But FaZe are very still heavily anchored downstairs. All right, now for our third full Valkyrie camera setup, we're gonna be defending downstairs inside of the laundry room. So I really hope that you guys got some ideas about the next time you go to Oregon and Consulate for some really nice Valkyrie setups. Now these first two, I like a lot because they kind of go hand in hand. They almost pass the people back and forth between each other because once one goes out of sight, on Valkyrie camera number one or two and heads down the hall, the second Valkyrie camera will actually pick up where the other one left off and continue the information down. So it's really sick. And then the third one is gonna be a simple Valkyrie camera overlooking the meeting hall that is hopefully going unnoticed when they enter from the big tower. But anyways, you guys, let me know which one of the three full Valkyrie camera setups was your guys' favorite, number one, two, or three. I hope you guys all learned a lot. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video. I hope you guys all have an awesome weekend. I love you all. Peace.